Alright, so, hello Super Sentai fans and welcome back to my Project Unlock series here on Toku Topics. So, this has been a fun one. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of different packages here today. Uh, this is from Bai. It's another Bai box that I have. Uh, this video isn't sponsored by them here today, but yeah, got a lot of stuff here. So, hopefully my voice doesn't sound too terrible. I'm still trying to kind of get back into the groove of things from being sick for the last like week and a half, so I'm still a little stuffy. However, we got some ranger keys to open, as evident by all these packages here. So, I have already opened the big body box that this all came in. Uh, obviously, they put a bunch of different boxes in there. I had done the thing where I basically did a bunch of packaging consolidation into one big box, which you're probably seeing a picture of on screen right now. And, as you can see, like, this thing's already opened, and there was two things in here that I already took out because I know for sure that they weren't ranger key related. And there's one more thing in here that is also not Ranger Key related, but I don't know which box it is. It's definitely one of these two. Uh, but there's been some pretty exciting stuff in that box so far, like this guy. SH Figure Arts 2 Kaiser. So we'll take a look at him later on. But uh, yeah, we have a couple keys here today. Um, some interesting fun ones to add to the collection. As well as finishing off every version of a particular type of key that I still needed. So I think we'll go ahead and start as there's like a jackhammer going on outside right now, which perfect timing for the recording. I think we'll go ahead and start with this already open box because this, I believe, should be what finishes off a very particular type of ranger key that I should have finished a long time ago, but just never did. And here it is, Deluxe Ranger Key Set 01. Why did I buy this? So this will finish off all of my Deluxe Ranger Keys that I needed, and why? you so right there is the original deca red ranger key that had the no white outline on the one which is something that they did go ahead and fix in the legend version of the deluxe ranger key set for deca ranger a year later but the, for some reason there was just no white outline on that first time that they made it same thing on the original candy toy release of this key and i think even the original gash upon release but uh because of that it is a slight variant of the deca red ranger key and therefore it is the last deluxe key that i needed to add to my collection, so I bought Ranger Key Set 01. I don't need the Geki, Maji, Gao, or Vol Eagle uh, keys in here, Red Rangers that are in here, for any particular reason, but this set cost me like four bucks, if that, I think. It was like three something. So I was like, all right, well, let's finally finish off the Deluxe Ranger Key, shall we? So there is that uh, Note White Outline Deca Red. I forgot an envelope, so uh, this is really fun. I love whenever we get these buy envelopes because like, this envelope feels entirely empty. There's a key right here, but like this entire thing is just like nothingness. There's like no weight to it. So we're just gonna rip right in there and make the audio atrocious for editing. And look, look at that, we got a piece of paper. Okay, okay. Yep, that's exactly the key that I thought it was. And it looks really good. So there is the metallic blue buster key. Almost said beat buster there. And I'm trying to look at the leg there. There's a little bit of a chip there. There was like this weird thing in the product photo for this where I couldn't tell if it was actually like scratched or marked up down there. But it actually looks pretty good. Metallic paint's all nice and intact. And the sticker looks good too. So very happy to add this key finally. This is a, a somewhat hard key to track down because uh, basically in 2012 at uh, was the Avon Mall, I think, in Japan, there was a whole kind of promotion to where if you bought any of the Go Busters mecha, you got a metallic blue and Stag Buster Ranger key as a like first release bonus kind of thing, but it was only a promotion in stores. So these two keys are kind of hard to find. I did get a metallic Stag Buster a long time ago on Project Unlock, but that one was so chipped and everything that I didn't actually count it towards the key counter. So I'm still actually trying to find a better version of that key, but I could like almost never find the metallic blue buster key, but then I finally did for like six or seven dollars. I think this might have been the most expensive key of the order, but even so it was less than 10. So I was like, all right, not bad. So it's just the same blue buster key, but it's all, all nice and metallic, which is kind of funny because that means they made a metallic of every one of the Go Busters except for yellow, unfortunately. So there is metallics of all of them. And I think I have now three fourths of them. So there is the metallic blue buster ranger key from Avon Malls. So I believe that that would mean Pretty sure this bag and this box over here are the last two Ranger Key related things for today, except for the second part of this video I'll get to in a second. But I do have this box here 
which we'll just open very briefly, even though I'm pretty sure this is not Ranger Key related. So here is Shoto Super Biohunter Silva, which is, I mean, really nice looking, but like, that is such a waste of space. So I believe this dude is, so it's not sealed, but it is, I believe, still new. Yeah, look, we look good there. Yeah, the, well, everything's still on the sprues and everything. So I paid like 30 something for this guy, which I know is expensive, but Shoto Super is incredibly expensive. So this is my third uh, Shoto Super thing that I have, uh, which I'll be doing a video on here soon enough. Be sure to check out my live man set review from last month uh, because that one was pretty fun and this line is pretty fun, but that is not Ranger Key related. So we'll go ahead and put him off to the side till his video. Which leads us to the final two things in here. A bag and a box. So in the final box we had this, which is the Gokai Red Ranger Key packed with the Gokaiger CD. So this is actually a kind of cool set. It's a little cooler than I thought it was going to be. So this is one of those promotional packing keys that I still needed for the collection. Uh, it's one of the very few that I have left in that regard. And I just, for some reason, I'd seen the CD ones around for a very long time. I just never bothered to get them. They are unique. They do have a unique key cut, a unique key number, and I think even key phrases. And look at this. Like, I love how it's advertising, like, pretty much everything in the key toy line. You got the buckle, the buyer, it's the saber, the gun. It's like, hey, you can use this key in all of that stuff. And then I believe it's literally just a CD with, I think, only the Gokaiger theme on it. To be honest, I wasn't sure. That, I didn't know that I bought this, like, completely sealed. So I think I paid... Was it like 12 or 15, something like that for this? I think I lied when I said everything was under 10. I'm not, I, I don't really remember to be perfectly honest. It's been like a month since I bought most of this stuff. And it was kind of sitting here while I've been sick for the last couple weeks. And I just haven't, uh, you know, bothered to look back at it. But I, I know I didn't pay too much for this, but there's the key. Obviously it's just another Gokai Red Ranger key in there. But I also, I also kind of feel bad opening this because it is like nice and sealed and it is pretty nice. But there it is. But there's actually another reason why uh, that this package is so fitting is that, uh, well, you see, you know, Ranger Keys kind of continued as the main toy line gimmick for like two years because they were also so prominent during Go Busters. So when they released the Go Busters theme song, well, so <laughs> we have one more package here. Thank you, Book Supply. I think you know where this is going. They did it again. So here is the Go Busters version of this exact same thing. So we'll put it back there for Go Kaiger and Go Busters. And look at that. It's a Red Buster Ranger key. So structured very similarly to the Gokai Red one back there. Uh, you can already tell this one is not sealed though because the key's just kind of floating in there. It's not in a little baggy. But here it also advertises kind of the other Ranger Key stuff in the Go Busters toy line. Uh, so the Ride and Go vehicles, which I have that one. I don't have that one yet. And of course the Legend of Pirates uh, because it will work in that. Now I think if I remember correctly, and I'll go ahead and open this one up because it is not, you know, sealed anymore. If I remember correctly, both these keys, I know that I know they have unique key numbers, but I think that they have the same key number. It's like a Gokai Red and a Red Buster that are both the same key number. So that's kind of funny. But uh, we have the little pamphlet there. I think it said that it came with a Daiso card. Is that in here? It might be in the flap of the case. But here's the CD. I haven't had a CD in a very long time. So there are four different things here. Project R, is that the Super Sentai Hero Getter? It might be. Ooh, that is a nice CD though. You get this nice pamphlet there with Cheetah Nick. I don't see that Daiso card. Oh, whoa, oh. <laughs> there it is. So here's the Daiso card with Red Buster, which is pretty nice. I do like this. I, I like getting just like fun little like, you know, random stuff. Now this I know for sure was like $10 or something like that, but uh, nice little pamphlet there with the songs. So I'm pretty sure it's the Go Busters theme song, as well as um, I think the updated version of the Hero Getter, because there was like that one Hero Getter version, it was almost like a 1.5 I believe that it was, that had Go Kaiger and Go Busters added to it before they like updated it every five years. So there's that. 
but here is the Red Buster Ranger key, which looks very much like all the other 100, you know, Red Buster Ranger keys that I have. But here it is nonetheless. And this is key number 198. And it looks pretty much just like a regular Red Buster key with all that stuff there. Now I'm pretty sure that this Gokaiger set here is also key number 198, but we will go ahead and check that out to prove it. So of course we have a very similar setup there. So here is the Gokaiger version of the CD, which I love the cover art there, love the background there, and it does look like we have, wow, it's kind of difficult to open these cases. It does look like we have the Super Sentai Hero Getter on here as well. It's, it's you know, even down to like the reflectiveness of that, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the, uh, is the Gobusters one had. There's a little piece of paper still in here, or a little flyer. Ooh, that's nice. Like a little flyer there. It's just the same thing as the cover. But uh, yeah, so there is the little CD for Gokaiger. And of course you have Gokaio there, which looks quite nice. And then of course we have the Ranger Key. So this one is still sealed in its baggie, but we will go ahead and free him from his plastic cage and there he is it's just a regular looking gokai red ranger key however it looks exactly how you'd expect it is also key number 198 so for whatever reason which i mean it makes perfect sense because like these are essentially the same exact thing well they are literally key wise but they're like hey for the cd sounds let's just let's just keep it the same so because of that, I will go ahead and show off the Gokaiger one in the original Mobirates and the Gobusters one in the Legend, even though this is actually technically a Gobusters key that the original Mobirates can read because it can read this one, so it actually can work. So, so far we are at four keys for today's episode, however there was one other package that arrived a very long time ago that I'm going to now show you some footage from the past of me on Geeky Tweak unboxing that key set. Now it's a Mandarake box. Oh, so I, I decided not to record this, so this is technically like me using Geeky Tweak to record a clip for a Project Unlock episode because there are Ranger keys in here. But there's there's more other stuff in here than Ranger keys, so I figured why not. Oh, just... I'm gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say everyone talk loud so the clip is unusable. <laughs> so, when has Mandaraka used packing peanuts? Yeah, that's uh, a new one. Yeah. <laughs> that's new. Okay, well Dude, you got the new packaging variant. Yeah. So now finally, uh, the Ranger key part of this box is a really stupid one. So this is oop as I drop it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the full complete Ranger Key bath salt set. So it's all of the Gash Upon Ranger Keys released with bath salts. No bath salts included. What? <laughs> I remember when that was the thing. <laughs> and the reason why I got this is because the where is it? The Gose Blue. And the Go Say Black keys that are here are the only way to get Gash Upon versions of those two keys. That's it. That's the only reason why I bought this. I don't really need any other key that's here, but that adds two more keys to my grand total. Jeez. So, and this was like, I also like how they packaged it in this. Like, yeah, I was going to say, did it come like that? Or how happening. the hell is that happening? Because like, no, they rubber banded it together in the middle. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I didn't have any of the boxes. But yeah, these are all unopened and... The stickers don't look as yellowed as Dash Upon key stickers 10 years later usually do, so. <laughs> That's that. the real Bandai special, <laughs> Toei special. <laughs> Dash Upon stickers 10 years after. <laughs> so I, I have these now. And uh, this was like, this was 1200 yen. So I was like, all right, let's just knock oh, it yeah, out. Okay. Well, add two more things to yeah. my, add two more keys to my uh, key counter. And uh, that is, uh, that, that will do it for this. Are those a bunch box. of lollipops? Basically. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so 
So that makes today's final haul this thing, the Bath Salt Ranger Key Set, uh, which was a set of Gashapon keys released with, well, bath salts, which is a weird thing. So as I mentioned in that Geek Each Week segment there, the only reason why I bought this is because there's this is the only way to get Ghost Say Blue, who you can see right there, and Ghost Say Black in a Gashapon Key format. And then also, if I remember correctly, you can see right there, this is one of those Gashapon keys that has the black piece, like sticker piece for the leg piece. And this Gokai Red here is my first time having a Gokai Red that needs that kind of piece. I think it's the same way for all of the other Gokaijers in here. Of course, everything here in the set. So I'm going to go ahead and take an evaluation of that uh, because there is a difference between, in my opinion, the Gashapons that have the black key sticker in between and the ones who do not, which means that ones that do and ones that do not are all different valid versions that I'm trying to collect for this series. So I'm gonna you know, take account of how many keys in here I'm counting towards the key counter uh, because of keeping that in mind, especially counting Ghost A Blue and Black. Also, the stickers seem to have held up pretty good, like, you know, yellowing wise after 11 years, which is usually not the case for Gashapon keys. So for sure, we're adding these four keys to the collection and at least two from here, but I'm sure there's gonna be at least three from here, if not more. So let's wrap it up here today with, of course, the key counter, which is where we're at right now. And I'd say that we're making some pretty significant progress. We actually got some Gashapon keys checked off the list here today. We're all done with deluxe keys now. We have three more of the promotional keys, which are kind of the more trickier ones to find. And we're getting there. So that's going to go ahead and do it with this episode of Project Unlock. So let me know down in the comments below, what did you think of everything I unboxed here today? What keys are you still looking forward to me getting for the collection? Because, you know, we still have a good amount of them to go, especially a plenty amount of Gashapon keys there. I'm already working on the next episode. I have some stuff being ordered and shipping and stuff like that. So we're going to have some fun stuff coming up here on the series. So, of course, until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter, other than Ranger Key, or Lightning Fake PR. And I'll see you all in Project Unlock, where we're always looking for the next key. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, Redstone MCPC, Comix1017, James Darty, Monster Rocket, John Luke, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose ED, Socket Monsters, and Anthony Love. You can support Tokutabux for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.